Welcome back to another episode of the Azure Enablement Show. Today, we are going to discuss the Azure Arc enabled SQL Managed Instance Landing Zone Accelerator with Lior. Welcome back. My name is Thomas, and I'm here with Lior from the Azure Arc team. And we are going to discuss the Azure Arc enabled SQL Managed Instance Landing Zone Accelerator. Uh, but first, Lior, uh, before we're going to talk about uh, that, um, can you talk a little bit about the importance of hybrid and multi-cloud? Sure, Thomas. Thanks for having me. Always, uh, always great to have uh, have those conversations with you. Uh, you know, you and I have been talking about this for a lot when it comes to the hybrid cloud, the uh, the multi-cloud space. When it comes to Azure Arc, Azure Stack HCI, everything is between. The importance here is that. Uh, you know, this space is becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, the portfolio of products, of features, of capabilities that we're coming up with is, again, just getting bigger. Um, the, the notion of building these solutions with our customers um, is somewhat became the de facto. It's the reality because all the customers that we're talking to um, are telling us that they are, you know, hybrid cloud is here to stay, something that we've been knowing for a while now, but seeing that validation time after time after time shows us the importance is there, the fact that we are building all these capabilities um, and customers and our partners validating those capabilities and features just tell us that we should keep going doing what we do. Absolutely. I mean, in fact, like uh, we have data showing that 93% of enterprises depend on a hybrid cloud strategy. So um, it's definitely one thing which is super important. So Lior, you're doing this for a while now. Um, what keeps you going uh, in the Azure Arc space? Yeah, I mean, definitely I've uh, been doing this for a while. been working on Azure Arc for, uh, for three years now, almost three years now. What keeps me going, I mean, having the conversations with our customers, with our own field, with folks like yourself, you know, colleagues, and, and understanding this space of ARC is very interesting. I always like to say that what's challenging, but also very fun about the space of Azure ARC and Azure Stack HCI um, is the fact that we're building out Azure outside of Azure. Now, if you take a minute to think about that, you can understand the the breadth of what I'm saying. Azure by itself is massive. It's a huge platform, you know, hyperscaler cloud provider coming from us. Trying to do that outside of Azure when we don't have control on the infrastructure, we don't have any control on how people are provisioning their IT assets. That's what makes it so fun to me personally and continuing developing things when it comes to this space. Absolutely. And um, so, um, let's switch topic a little bit and go to um, actually the cloud adoption framework. You just yep. mentioned Azure is massive, and obviously this can be um, like adding challenges to actually how do I implement this? And there's a, like some knowledge you need to have where the cloud adoption framework comes in super handy. And we have something called the cloud adoption scenarios. Can you explain a little bit for for people who haven't heard about this yet what that is? Yes, definitely. You know, 18 months ago, I started to work on thing on, on something that I didn't have a lot of knowledge around, which is the cloud adoption framework. Um, when I started to, you know, unpeel this onion, I realized that the cloud adoption framework and the hybrid cloud scenarios are super critical to our customers. I actually didn't know how much they're critical to our customers, because at the end of the day, those scenarios are really the seal of approval. Those are the guidance, the best practices, the recommendations the way to implement our technologies um, in an enterprise-grade fashion. Um, some may, may say production-ready uh, fashion. The, those scenarios are designed to take our customers, our partners, our own field that are educating those customers and partners, take them by the hand and explain to them how they should, how they should think about building hybrid cloud architecture. So those are the multi-cloud and the hybrid scenarios as part of the cloud adoption framework. So since hybrid and multi-cloud is obviously such an important thing, I guess we also have a scenario for that. Yes, definitely. The hybrid cloud and the multi-cloud scenario is covering, um, as of today, and we're going to talk about the new things, as of today, covering uh, two major Azure Arc uh, portfolios or solutions, 
Azure Arc enabled servers, which we released um, last year at previous Ignite, and also Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes that we released uh, back in May at the Build Conference. Those two um, landings on accelerators that are part of the hybrid and multi cloud scenarios are covering the server space with Azure Arc enabled servers, but also the Azure Arc also the Kubernetes space with Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes. So those are the two accelerators that uh, we have today and we're gonna talk about the new things. Absolutely, and again, it's great to have these. And I, I spoke to a lot of customers who love these accelerators um, to implement this. So how do we actually help customers implementing this? Well, the way to do this is via providing some sort of a ref reference implementation. Um, the way that we've been doing this in the past is by merging or jelloing the notion of automating a sandbox implementation for those uh, scenarios or for those accelerators and providing customers with a way to do things without being disruptive to their own infrastructure. Because Azure Arc is such a unique uh, set of technologies and the fact that it requires you to have uh, IT assets that are deployed outside of Azure, we wanted to provide them with a way to try to demo, to experience the technology, uh, but also be able to take this to the next level with their production um, environments. So let's talk about the latest edition uh, we're gonna talk about in this video today. Um, so what does the Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance landing zone actually include and provide? Yes, so you know, I mentioned the fact that we had, uh, or we already released the Azure Arc enabled servers and Kubernetes landing on accelerators. Um, this week at Ignite, we are announcing the new accelerator the Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance landing zone accelerator, which will cover nine critical design areas. Those critical design areas that I'm showing you right now are the ones that are included in this space of how do you go by and build SQL managed instance or Arc enabled SQL managed instance environment using Azure Arc. Those critical design areas are uh, designed to take you by the hand and show you what are the considerations that you need to think about what are the recommendations around implementing that architectures and everything that is in between. Every scenario or every critical design area also include next steps. And there is also correlation between those critical design areas. So you will not have to bounce around and just kind of go to external, external assets. Everything is in one place. So you can go read each and every critical design areas so you can understand the technology to its depth. That's awesome. Again, and it's obviously great to have that in a, in a, especially also in a hybrid and multi-cloud environment. Um, but since it can be difficult, like to actually, if you want to try this out, right, and you need to have some sort of spare hardware where you need to go, um, do we help our customers? And how can customers try this out if they don't have, like, they don't have an investment in hardware or something on um, premises infrastructure they want to leverage for this? Definitely. Um, like we did in the previous accelerator uh, for servers and Kubernetes, this time we're also teaming up with the Jumpstart team. And uh, what we're coming up with with this Ignite, we're announcing Rbox for Data Ops. Rbox for Data Ops is your one-stop solution for building a full-blown Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance um, sandbox. And it's very comprehensive. It includes multiple scenarios inside data ops in order for you to correlate what you're getting with the automation and what you just went through with the critical design areas. So with data ops, we are simulating disaster recovery and business continuity, SQL migration from on-premises to Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance, point in time backup and restore, active directory authentication authorization, and so much more. Um, as you can see, there is the unified uh, management layer on top. You have three Arc-enabled Kubernetes clusters that are the foundation, the fundamental building block for in order for you to do or work with SQL Managed Instance. So everything is basically encapsulated in this single resource group, single automation, one-click deployment. So you can go and test all of the things that you have with the accelerator. Oh, this is fantastic. And again, it allows me really quickly to spin this kind of like sandbox environment up and try these things out and simulate this hybrid uh, world and environment to really figure it out. Hey, how does it actually work and try it out without having an impact on my production environment and so on. So that's, that's definitely going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to try this out. So I'm sure all of us are too. So where would people go uh, to learn more about this? 
So basically what we have today, obviously we have the cloud adoption framework and the landing zone accelerator ready page. Uh, that's the first thing that you want to go. This is where you, this is going to be your starting point for all the accelerators and you'll be able to find uh, the new accelerator for Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance. So that's, you know, that's number one. That's the first thing that you want to do. Then from there, we also released a couple of blog posts um, in order to cover in more depth the announcements, both for the accelerator and data ops. So definitely go and check those out. And obviously, the Jumpstart page is going to be uh, available to you as part of those blog posts and all the links that you need in order to get started. Thank you very much, uh, Lior. This is, has been great. Um, and so we're definitely going to try this out and follow these links. And thanks to everyone watching. Make sure you check out aka.ms adopt. <laughs>